What's up, Yuchi here. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how much money I made in my first year in real estate. Now, I did 46 transactions in 2023, two buys, one lease listing, 43 leases representing the tenant, but how much money did I really make? Let's dive in. This is information I wish I knew before starting out in real estate. Now let's first jump in and see how commission works. Keep in mind, every brokerage is different. Some charge higher, some charge lower, but I'm gonna use eXp because that's the brokerage I'm with. So for eXp, the agent takes 80% of the commission and pays 20% to the brokerage. Once they cap, meaning they've made $80,000 roughly for the year, they get to keep 100% of their commissions. I did not cap last year, which means that I had to pay 20% to the brokerage. So for example, for an average sale at 600,000, at 2.5 commission, which is the average here in Toronto, sometimes it's more, I did a deal where it was 2.75, sometimes it's less like 2.25, but we'll use 2.5 commission as the base because that's the average here in Toronto. Now, EXP or the brokerage will take a split. In this case, like I said, it was 20%. So at a 600,000 sale price, EXP will take 3,000. There will also be a $29 review fee, which is a fixed fee for all transactions. This is where the EXP backend team kind of reviews your paperwork, make sure everything's all fine and dandy. And if we do the math here, that means the gross commission will be $11,971. So if you sell that house at 600K at a 2.5% commission, your commission check will be $13,527, of which, 1556 is HST, which isn't really commission because you gotta pay that back. So your actual commission is $11,971 in this instance. So my total commission, if you add up everything, was around 85,000 for the year. But in terms of gross, because you don't get to keep the HST, it was exactly 75,000. The two buys equaled to be around 30,000 and the 44 leases were around 45,000 for a total of 80,000. And yes, the commission structure is pretty much the same for buy, sell and leases. So not so bad for our first year and most folks will stop there, but we are a business and we have to look at expenses and understand how much are we really profiting because realtors have expenses that other professions simply don't. Okay, so now let's look at the major expenses I had during the year. Number one are the EXP or brokerage fees. With EXP, I pay $157 a month, so times that by 12, that's $18.84 for the year. Also, when I joined right away, I had to pay a fee to TREB or the Toronto Real Estate Board. It might be different if you're with another board, but for me, I'm in Toronto, so I had to pay the TREP fee. That was $2,300 a year. And I also had to pay insurance to RICO, the Real Estate Council of Ontario. That was around $350. I also had to pay, and I counted them up, $2,300 in gas. These are all my receipts for the year. Now, I didn't include car payments or car insurance payments because i think i would have had a car even if i didn't do real estate so for that sake i didn't count it but i definitely wouldn't have driven as much so i'm going to count my gas receipts and this is not including other miscellaneous expenses that i have as well i bought some camera stuff i bought some you know lock boxes business cards things like that small stuff i'm going to count it as trivial i'm not going to count that um, and also I'm not gonna count things such as housing or food because I would have had to pay for that anyways. I'm also, keep in mind, not counting the costs that I had to pay uh, doing Humber College and getting my license. I made a separate video on that and uh, if you count opportunity costs, I think that's closer to like $30,000. So I'm not counting all of those things, but I'm definitely gonna count the EXP fees, my gas money, treb fees and my rico insurance fees now the good thing is all of this stuff can be used during tax season to decrease my taxable income because we're self-employed and these things are used to run our business so that is the good thing but 
if you count up all the expenses that were aforementioned that's around seven thousand dollars so if we look at our sales minus our revenue our actual profit is closer to sixty eight thousand dollars and that will be taxed as well so real estate is definitely not as glamorous as some folks make it seem we have a lot of expenses and we spend a lot of time as well um, prospecting and driving for example and time is money too right so you need to really look at the bottom line to decide if this profession is right for you. I probably would have made more money in software engineering or finance than my first year in real estate, but the benefit is I get to work for myself. With that being said, I hope this video paints a more detailed picture for you in regards to the numbers of real estate. Remember, it's not all about sales, it's about profit. And I can't IPO, so I can't run an Uber business model and run at a deficit. No, I need to make money in order to keep going. So yeah, remember, it's all about profit, not necessarily about sales. I probably won't do this every video, or sorry, every year of my real estate career, but I really wanted to give you guys a detailed glimpse as to how it works, how commissions work, how it breaks down, your expenses and all of that. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support, and we will see you guys next time.